We're gonna be wrapping up your present with the big shiny bow. You won't wanna miss a single minute, don't be late for the show. There's gonna be gingerbread and tarnies and the band's gonna blow. A swing a little Christmas time. Hi, I'm Maddie Orton for JerseyArts.com. Jane Lynch may be best known for her Emmy-winning portrayal of the acerbic glee club-hating Sue Sylvester, but she's currently touring with a sentimental send-up of 50s and 60s TV Christmas specials. Her show, A Swingin' Little Christmas, live in concert, starring Jane Lynch and featuring Kate Flannery, Tim Davis, and the Tony Guerrero Quintet, comes to NJ Pack on December 9th. Jane, thank you so much for joining me today. This is such a pleasure. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to coming your way in the coming days. Yeah, very soon. So you're currently touring with um, A Swingin' Little Christmas. Where Correct. did you get the idea for a retro-style, jazzy Christmas special? Oh, you described it perfectly. Um, I tour with this band. I started touring with this band, the Tony Guerrero Quintet, since uh, 2016. And uh, I've been singing with them, along with Kate Flannery, who was married at the Drunk in the Office. Sure. And uh, yeah, she's one of my oldest friends. And they're very jazzy kind of guys. They they love the jazz. They love the stuff from the late 50s, early 60s. And so do we. And, you know, that's kind of the Christmas music that we listen to all the time that we play over and over again. It's kind of big band kind of swinging like Bing Crosby and Perry Como and Rosemary Clooney. So we love that music. So we thought, well, why not get a bunch of public domain Christmas songs and, and make our own album? And that's what we did. And so you made an album with Kate Flannery from The Office, as you said, and with Tim Davis, who was um, right. did the music on Glee. Yeah, I don't want to give Tim short shrift here. Tim was the uh, music director on Glee. He he uh, arranged all the vocals, all 800 songs oh my God. on Glee. And uh, he started uh, arranging our stuff because he's a good friend of mine. And then I just said, why don't you do it with us? Because he's such a good singer and he's got great presence. And again, he has that late 50s, early 60s vibe. You know, he's got the haircut, the, the <laughs> mannerisms, and he has a dop kit. It worked out perfectly. So yeah, he, he completes our uh, trio. Christmas we'll be ringing with the sound of the you The joint will be rocking with the rhythm of some holiday tunes But baby it wouldn't be a party if it didn't have you A swing a little Christmas time One of the many roles you're known for is this choir-hating cheer coach, Sue Sylvester on Glee, which mm -hmm. As I mentioned, I just love so much. But you clearly have a beautiful singing voice and you'll soon be performing in Funny Girl on Broadway. Is music a big part of your life? Yes, yes, I love it. You know, I love and I love singing with other people, too. I never wanted to be up there alone. Also, I'm not really a solo singer. I love singing harmonies. Kate has a really bright kind of like a studio singer from the late 50s kind of a sound. And uh, uh, and Tim sounds like a crooner from back then. This music is my parents music. So I was brought up on this stuff and um, it's in my DNA. So I, I love it. That was one of the things I was wondering was how you selected the music. Obviously, you mentioned public domain, but some of these songs are beautiful and sentimental. Some of them are very funny and you managed yeah. to walk that line very well. Was it hard to put together a set list? No, it was a joy. It was easy. Each song kind of came to us in its own. Like we do We Three Kings in a kind of Dave Brubeck style. And um, we do Up on the Housetop, very swingy and poppy. And uh, so they all kind of came to us. And Tony's a wonderful arranger. So he arranged all the orchestrations. And, and Kate herself did... Uh, Good King Wenceslas, she arranged that herself, and it's hilarious. She's just a, a treasure trove of talent. Finally the stocking for little Jane. Oh. All pits filled with candy canes. Leave some room for other toys. Please. Sure to bring her Christmas joy. We met at the Annoyance Theater, which okay. is this crazy little dirty, filthy improv theater. I mean, when I say dirty, filthy, yeah, the, the material was kind of filthy, but the <laughs> theater itself was just like a, a dump. Uh, oh, I love that. I, I feel I, yeah, like I my fair share of those. Sure. Yes. Yeah. It was very <laughs> gritty and very, um, you know, we, we lived a uh, uh, rent check to rent check, both personally and for this theater. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So that's where I met her. And we did the real life Brady Bunch together, which was an actual uh, staged version of Brady Bunch episodes. And it became kind of a cult hit. And we went and uh, Kate played Alice and in some of it and she played uh, um, uh, different parts and others, but, uh, and I was Carol Brady, but Thanks. we took that to um, the village gate of all places. They closed uh, shortly after, I think it was just such an abomination for that place that they, they <laughs> fell apart. And then we took it to the Westwood Playhouse and that's how we all got out to Los Angeles. Jill Soloway, who is responsible for Transparent um, was our director. Andy Richter played um, uh, Mike Brady. 
So it's kind of um, some who's who's of people who are famous now. First comes the stocking for little Kate. Who, me? Hurry, Santa, she can't wait. In terms of the Christmas music, you were talking about music, you know, of your parents' generation that you really loved. Do you remember growing up on specials like these? Yes. Yeah, that was the big deal. Um, uh, the, the Bing Crosby stuff. I remember the, the Carpenter's Christmas special. It was so uncomfortable. They're, they're not the most comfortable people. <laughs> and, um, I remember the big the Bing Crosby stuff and the, the Rosemary Clooney stuff and the, the stuff that was retro when I was growing up. You know, that was like in black and white. And I do think that that sort of special must have been rife for comedy in a way that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have such fun with it. It's it's uh, you know, Kate is a uh, a spitfire and she's unpredictable and spontaneous and I never know what she's going to do. And we have a lot of fun. You've been a part of so many iconic pieces, Best in Show, and then obviously Glee, and, and now Maisel, and now you're going to be going to Broadway with Funny Girl. How do you feel about this this next step? It's, it's your second time on Broadway, I think, right? It is, yeah. I did Mrs. Uh, Miss Hannigan um, for just a couple of months, but on Broadway, which was a pretty amazing thing. <clears throat> um, uh, I grew up on Funny Girl. That was another, uh, uh, my parents loved musicals and we had them on all the time. And my mother and I just loved Funny Girl. And anytime I would get a job or be on stage, you know, to get something in entertainment, my mom would sing, who taught her everything she knows? <laughs> and that's the part I'm playing. So my mother has passed away at this point, but I said somewhere in heaven, she's singing who taught her everything she knows. That's great. Well, Jane, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the rest of the tour. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. Don't miss A Swingin' Little Christmas live in concert starring Jane Lynch and featuring Kate Flannery, Tim Davis, and the Tony Guerrero Quintet at NJ Pack on Thursday, December 9th. For more information, visit njpack.org. I'm Maddie Orton. Thanks for watching. Up on the house, stop, click, click.